I just upgraded to the new PlayStation Plus premium subscription where I get all of the classic games that they're making available for streaming as well as the normal free games and extended my subscription to 2029 for under $200. And theoretically, you can too. I'm gonna to talk about it here in this super quick video. So if you missed the news, back in May, PlayStation announced some changes coming to PlayStation Plus where they now have two extra tiers. There's the extra tier and then the premium tier. And the extra tier seems mostly useless. It like gets you access to demos. Imagine charging money for demos. Ah, times have changed. But the premium tier gets you access to everything that you know the other tiers have, but also the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 catalogs that they are now making available to download. And if you previously owned those games through PlayStation Network, then you still have access to those as well, as well as some PlayStation 3 titles that they're making available through streaming. Only being available through streaming instead of emulating is kind of a disappointment, but that's fine for now. But I, I hadn't actually bothered to log in and check, and that only just went into effect a few weeks ago. Like, they announced it in May, but it only went into effect at the end of June. So I was doing my usual every few months, I will kind of jump in and check on the Xbox Live games with gold, since they just announced that they're running out of 360 games for it, and the PlayStation Plus. I, I don't remember to check every month, but I try to check every so often so I can claim the games that, you know, were being given out when I can. And saw that they had the premium tier available, so I went ahead and upgraded. Now, specifically to extend it this far, this is due to the fact that every Black Friday and usually sometime in the spring-ish, uh, the, there are usually deals at either Best Buy or Amazon where you can get PlayStation Plus year-long subscriptions. Either buy one, get one free, which is what I took advantage of in 2021, and I spent like 200 bucks just buying up a bunch of years, extending it through, you know, 2027, 2028 or they'll do it just for ridiculous prices. Like normally it was like 60 bucks and they'll do it for like 20 bucks or something. So you can really just extend your subscription, not have to worry about paying annually or monthly or anything for a few years and not worry about it. And so I have done that for Xbox Live and for PlayStation Plus throughout the years. And so when you upgrade to the new plan, as long as you pay for that first year of PlayStation Premium in advance, it takes all of your years that you've already racked up or months or whatever and converts it to the new premium tier. So I already had quite a few years saved up of buying those cheaper deals, which you should always keep an eye out for. We have a sick, deal, a sick deals chat in my Discord server if you want to check that out. Uh, and it will convert it to you. You just have to pay for it up front. So it was 160 bucks a year for PlayStation Premium, but by paying that up front, despite the fact that I don't need to pay for PlayStation Plus right now, so it seems like a downer, by paying that up front, it combines all of my PlayStation Plus years into one, meaning that I do not need to pay for anything on PlayStation until 2029, when we might even have another console by then. And I was able to do the same thing with Xbox whenever they originally released the Game Pass tiers. They had Game Pass Ultimate, which included Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass. You could convert your Xbox Live time. And so I had bought up a bunch of, you know, discounted years in Xbox Live Gold, converted all that to Game Pass Ultimate, and I think I have until like 2025 or 2026 on that as well. So be on the lookout for those deals. I don't know how long you'll be able to convert all your progress over, but theoretically, it should always apply, because otherwise, are they going to make you wait out the limited time before you can access the premium features? Doesn't make a whole lot, whole lot of sense, but I want to make sure people are aware of this, because while the news had kind of been heard, I'd honestly completely forgotten about it myself. 